This is CPU replacement for a 3850M2 slash 3950M2. Machine type is, I believe, 7141. The tag came off the faceplate, so I don't remember the exact machine type. Okay, first thing to do is take the faceplate off. There's a tab on the left, push in. Tab on the right, push in. So when you do that, the faceplate will come off. Okay, then lid. Okay. And it's going to be two CPUs only. Third and fourth CPU go in here. You're just going to have two CPUs. You will likely have memory cards in all four of these slots. All right, so you want to undo these screws in the front here. And then they give you a little latch to lift it with. You're going to lift this straight up. You're going to uh, um, push this tab in because this is going to bump against here. So lift it up, push in, and then up. Now this is very, very, very stiff. I actually was afraid to force it, but it definitely takes a lot of a uh, little bit of strength and elbow grease to get that all the way up. Like that. Here's the two CPUs, and here's the air baffle. So the air baffle goes in this way. The narrow part's at the top here. If you have your label, that's the front and upright. So we're going to just do one CPU here. You can just see how the catch is. It, it does pull a little bit, so you can pull, release, and then from there, it'll come out. You can see the there's holes on each side here, and that goes in these posts on each side. Oh, by the way, <laughs> since I'm going to be adding touching the CPU, I will use my static strap right there. So here's your heat sink. Remember to put it upside down because there's a gel. There will be a lever. You can see the lever, this little um, thing that looks like it's the state of Florida. And you're going to pull it up. I'll try to get out of the way so you can see. There. And at the end, you'll see the CPU shift as you go all the way up. That means now you can take it out. So, take it out. There's your CPU. Then you would replace it. Uh, again, you want to be careful that the pins are all nice and straight. You can see a triangle in one corner here matches the triangle down there. If not, you can also see the pins in the back are a like a like a trapezoid. There's a, a right angle and a right angle there. Then here you can see a cut angle in the top. And if you look at the pins, the pin uh, where the pins go, you can see the same pattern: the right angle, right angle, cut angle, cut angle. You want to not force it. It will nestle in there. Once you got the pins aligned in the right spot, it should nestle in. There. It'll, it'll actually sink down a little bit as it nestles in. And then from there, gently move it back. You'll see the CPU shift back. Okay. And then reverse the procedure. So the heat sink will be uh, reading right side up if you're in the front. Remember to put the hole in the posts. Like that. Sorry. Like that. I didn't get it on the other side. All this stuff should be pretty gentle. I think the purple handle needs to be up. It actually the purple handle is down here, that's why I didn't go in. So purple handle up. It's in the post. Then press. I usually pat my finger on the other side of the heat sink as I press this part down. And then don't forget the heat baffle or air baffle I mean. And it just kind of settles in there. It takes the Herculean strength to put the media tray back down. Urgh, urgh. As it goes down here, remember to put the tab back in. It won't likely get in the way. And then it should just, you can just press it firmly in place. Remember to also screw these media tray screws back in. And we're about done. The face plate, remember to push the two things on the side, the two tabs. And hopefully you have a good aim. Give it a nice little pat. Hello, hello. And did I forget anything? Cover. Take off the static strap clip. Cover. And you're done! Yay! Hooray! Celebrate! Thank you.